The main problem teachers and learners have with effectively using ed tech is time. They do not have enough hours to sort through all of the vast amount of tools that are out there for them. And so a lot of times teachers just opt to stick with what they already know. I'm Mark Barnes, and this is another edition of the Hack Learning Podcast. And today we're hacking EdTech, education technology. Something you would think in the, the world we live in now would be really easy because of the wealth of technology available and so many companies focusing on education and so many government dollars now being pushed into ed tech, it seems that we could get this right all of the time. Yet we don't. And in the open, you heard from Jennifer Gonzalez from Cult of Pedagogy. And Jennifer is a longtime educator, author, and someone who does does everything she can to help teachers get better. That's really what she does full time now. She's dedicated to finding problems and helping educators improve. So Jen says in the open that one problem is time, that teachers are overwhelmed. So what she does often is goes to her readers and says, okay, what problems do you have and, and what can I do to help? And she did this and this issue came up. And let's listen to what uh, her readers told her and what she decided to do about it when it comes to ed tech. I surveyed my readers uh, a couple of years ago about what problems they were facing, what they needed help with, and one of the problems that came up over and over again was uh, educational technology. Teachers said that they knew there were a lot of great tools out there, and their administrators wanted them to use more, but they just could not figure out which tools to use. They were just overwhelmed and did not know what, what choices they should be making. So in order to help them, I decided to create a guide. I decided to take all of the tools out there that I could find that would be relevant to educators, sort them into categories, provide really quick summaries of what each one did, and then find links to YouTube videos and give them screenshots so that basically I could really, really shorten the amount of time that it took to sort through everything, pinpoint the one that was going to be right for their needs, and then uh, give it a try. I surveyed my... So Jen creates the Teacher's Guide for Tech. Her readers say, we don't have enough time and there's an overwhelming amount of websites, applications, tools out there, and I don't have time to learn them all. So Gonzalez creates an interactive guide with hundreds, and I do mean hundreds, of websites and tools, and she doesn't just throw these on a, a, a paperback book, you know, which can be helpful, of course, but uh, it doesn't show you things in action. So in the Teacher's Guide to Tech, uh, Jennifer creates pages that are interactive. She embeds videos, how-to videos, that take a tool and walk an educator through exactly what the tool does. And uh, Jennifer also, in her Teacher's Guide to Tech, then says, here are some applications, here's how you can use this, and takes all of these tools and categorizes them as well. There's over 30 categories in her Teacher's Guide to Tech where uh, an educator can say, okay, I need a tool that will engage kids and Uh, will help me assess their learning. So you can find a category on assessment and look at different tools that are in that category that would help you assess learning in a way that would really engage kids. So there's more to ed tech than just having a tool and and putting it into action. We still need a certain skill set. Let's listen to what Jen says about the important skills to make ed tech work. One of the most important skills teachers need to be successful in this overwhelming world of technology is the ability to to identify something that is going to meet their needs and give it a try. And that process needs to be pretty quick because 
you can spend so much time researching and researching and trying to make the best guess that that you end up doing nothing at all. And so just being able to locate the right tool, seeing how it's going to fit into your teaching and your instruction, and then being able to open an account and actually give it a try, that's a really important skill. Now at Hack Learning, we pride ourselves on simplicity. We believe in right now solutions, something that you can learn easily and you could learn it today and you could take it into a classroom or a work setting tomorrow and use it to improve teaching and learning. So what Jennifer Gonzalez says with EdTech is find something and try it. Now there's a hack and a pretty simple one, right? Well, still, I... I, was an educator for a long time. I like to think I still am an educator, but I was a classroom teacher for about 23 years and I heard a lot of tips and someone would say, well, this is easy. And I thought about it and thought, "Eh, I'm not so sure that's really that easy. So maybe you're thinking, okay, try a tool tomorrow because you have to get over that fear. And the best way to do it is to just go in and try it. But what tool do I use? And again, here's where Jennifer Gonzalez's uh, Tech Guide comes into play. The Teacher's Guide to Tech, and, and you can find information about her Teacher's Guide to Tech on our show notes at hacklearning.org. And what you do is you go in and you think of something you want to do tomorrow. What lesson do you have? What's your subject area? And uh, you want, the goal is you want to engage learners, right? You want to get away from the old worksheet and workbook and multiple choice quiz and and we've talked about all of that stuff here on the hack learning podcast we've done hacking assessment we've done hacking the worksheet uh, all these different things to uh, discuss engaging learners and making learning fun that's really the ultimate goal so if you have a tool like uh, Jennifer Gonzalez, Teacher's Guide to Tech, you can go there and you can say, you can just look through your categories and say, here's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And and this is, um, and, and I'd like to get a tool to make it work. And is it a mobile tool? And do my kids have mobile devices? Uh, does it have a desktop o- option? Because maybe I have desktops or laptops in my classroom. And it's all there for you. And then you can see the tool in action and you might say, okay, what? Well, how do I use it to teach this lesson? What are the applications for it? And that is there as well. So the the key hacks for the overall topic of hacking ed tech are, first of all, you have to be willing to try it. You have to find a tool and you have to say, I'm going to go into class tomorrow and I'm going to put this into action. And you have to overcome the fear. If you're saying, well, I'm afraid, I don't know how to do it. Take a look at a tool. Find uh, uh, your category. Use Jennifer Gonzalez's Teacher's Guide to Tech. Learn all about it. Go into class tomorrow and give it a try. And don't be afraid to fail because the chances are you will, but then you'll learn from that and you'll be that much better the next time. And you know what? Your students are going to love when you give them technology to use to demonstrate learning. So check out the Teacher's Guide to Tech today over at hacklearning.org on our podcast page. And remember, we continue the conversation at hashtag hacklearning on Twitter. Uh, you can always reach out to Jennifer Gonzalez and ask her more questions about ed tech. And you can find her on Twitter at, at Cult of Pedagogy. You can find her on her website at cultofpedagogy.com and all of her information will be linked on the show notes at hacklearning.org. Hey, check out a Hack Learning Series book today, hacklearningbooks.com and if you have a moment, head on over to iTunes and uh, give us a review. Let's tell the world about hack learning because we all need to hack learning at some point. See you next time.